everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to Black Ops 3 Zombies. For today's video, we are playing a map that's themed around the back rooms. Which, for those of you guys that don't know what that is, basically is an internet creepypasta where you essentially no clip through reality, and you're in this wet, yellow, uh, kind of like creepy looking hallway where there's a whole bunch of monsters and you have to basically escape. We're gonna be playing here today. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what the general idea of the back rooms is, but basically, for those of you guys that don't know what it is, you'll be in for a pleasant treat when you see this map. But yeah, guys, I hope you end up enjoying today's video. If you do, please make sure you drop a like and comment down below what I should play next for another video. But yeah, guys, I hope you end up enjoying seeing, once again, another video on Black Ops 3 Zombies. Oh, what the? Not gonna lie, that scared the crap out of me for a hot second. I thought that this map was gonna be the complete darkness. Oh, what the hell are you? Oh, you look like some weird, like, green demogorgon. Okay, well, this map definitely starts off really uh, cool right away. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you guys sprint. I'm actually gonna probably need to get a primary gun then. Okay, the game is a bit laggy. I don't know if it's just because of the fact that I haven't played in a while or because of the new Black Ops 3 update, because believe it or not, Black Ops 3 did get an update where they, they supposedly did a security patch, but it lasted for like all of a few hours. I've said it before and I'll, I'll say it again, like devs owe it to their fans to always at least keep their games hacker free at the very least. Even if they never update the game with content ever again, they should at least always do bug fixes and prevent the game from being hacked. Period. Like, no exceptions. Okay, I think this is a mixture of World at War and Black Ops 4 guns. Th the biggest thing for me is about finding the power switch, which uh, looks like there's a symbol right there indicating that we must be near it. Oh, it's the Shangri-La Screecher zombie. I didn't take that guy into account. Alright, we found Jug next to, I, I guess, uh, what is this, a, a, a soul, uh... A soul box? Ow, 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 ow! Game! Calm down! Really, game? That's so annoying, man. Oh, what the- What the hell? Oh, come on, dude! One out of five rituals complete. It better be damn complete. Okay, so it looks like that each time I activate one, I get a shrieker and a napalm zombie. Oh, what the fuck? Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! Why, why was he running at the speed of light after me? That's not fair. Yeah, but that was complete BS, man. I was minding my own business, and all of a sudden, I, I got the flash as a zombie chasing after me. And by the time that I have to stop sprinting to gain my stamina, he's already tickling my ass. Okay, so I'm not going to touch any of those ritual tables, except for when I end up getting at least, like, a decent gun or jug. So, while it's round one... I'm going to look around the map and see if I can find any sort of, uh, I don't know, decent thing to use, like a mystery box, uh, or at least find the power switch and just start saving money for buying Jug. What is this? I assume that that's the back room. It's like, oh, this map has Vulture Aid. Let's go, dude. This is, like, one of the best perks that, like, never came back. You know, it's funny. These not only remind me of a Demogorgon, but they look a lot like an evil version of Wild Vine, like an alien from Ben 10. I think what I might do is, uh, in addition to getting the uh, the XM9 or whatever in Jug, I think I also just might buy the Bowie Knife, because even though they're running a little bit, I can definitely see this map uh, needing a lot of points, a little more. Uh, I am at least going to buy the gun. At least for now. Is this a camera? Or is that just a part of the map glitching? Ah! <sighs> Ow, that hurt. Why would you... Mm. Oh shit, I, I actually need a second to recoup from that one. Oh my god. I felt like that back for blood jump scare I just made, but in real life. D Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. I, I am getting Juggernaug literally as soon as possible because I can't deal with these sprinting, like, as fast as light zombies. That That is horrifying. Oh, 
come on, bro. With the Grim Reaper? The hell? Oh, okay, screw it. If you want to end up giving me a rocket launcher, then sure. Okay, okay, calm down. Cal calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. Yes. This is huge, dude. I need this unlimited ammo so bad. And <clears throat> unless I get literally gang banged. Okay, dude, that literally is not even fair. <laughs> That's just not fair. That is not fair how is that fair how is that fair i literally what am i supposed to do always shoot well i'm just gonna have faith that i can get this last ritual out of the way then because i honestly don't know what the hell i'm doing wrong And they're always in my ass! Oh, it's free. Oh, that would have been really nice to know at the very beginning of the game. <sighs> oh, shit. Dude, if I would have died, I would have been furious. Okay. Buy Widow's Wine. I cannot imagine. If, if I lose all my Widow's Wine grenades at this point, I'm going to be, like, in, like just... Ooh. Bro. Oh my god, how the hell are you supposed to win? Key cards required. Damn it. What the hell? What the hell is open? Honestly, what, what am I missing? I think that's, what is that, mystery box light? Yeah, it's mystery box light. So it's downstairs. Oh, here we go. Yes! Thank God! Press F to escape the back rooms. There's a mystery box and a pack-a-punch machine. Praise the Lord. Because only God knows when that this is going to become a, a shitstorm. Oh, the key card. You know, even though this thing might not be the best, it seems. With automatic, with... An uh, automatic shotgun with unlimited ammo? I'll take it. See, the unfortunate thing is, I don't even think they're gonna let me camp. Yeah, see, they're not gonna let me camp. I just have to keep running. Why is Brutus behind me? <clears throat> that is malicious. Okay, I have the Redeemer now. I'm gonna run around the map and I'm just gonna chuck this thing into oblivion because I really, like I said, this, this is my very last attempt. There's nothing else I can do. The one thing that they also could have done that would have been a nice common courtesy would be giving uh, a riot shield. That would be amazing. Knowing this map though, it's probably inside the mystery box. It doesn't go behind me? I have to- Th This map is the most infuriating piece of shit ever. I'm done. That map is either meant to only be played on co-op, or it's not meant to be won, unless, unless you literally sell your soul to the devil. Because I did everything- fathomable to make that a perfect run and I still got screwed.
Alrighty guys, so that's going to be here for today's video. A little bit more angry than normal, but I still hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, please make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and all the beautiful stuff. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And I hope you end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video from the most unique YouTubers we're ever going to see. Thanks for watching guys, I love all of you, and peace out. Hey meme lords, Jesus here. And you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe too, or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too. And give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom.